What's up, everyone? This is Mr. Myasis here, and I'm going to talk to you today about reading some computer output. So, uh, on the AP exam, on the AP stats exam, if this is, um, if you're watching this and you're not in an AP statistics course, then it might not be as relevant for you. Uh, but in, in general, you know, when we're doing when we're doing uh, linear regression, you're going to need to know how to look at the computer output. Now, this is uh, something maybe for Minitab. Um, but there are different software programs, SPSS, uh, d various different statistical software that you would use to do your statistics for linear regression. And you really need to know how to read those, um, the output for that so that you can create the equation and, 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 and do all the kind of other analysis that you have to do. So um, I just wanted to take this time to kind of take a look at what that might be look like and then to kind of decode what uh, these this output looks like okay so the first thing you have here is the dependent variable and um, you know I don't like using the word dependent variable in my in my class um, we call this the response variable so your response variable in this case is percent BF and I think uh, we if in the context of this this was percent body fat so um, this is our response variable are r squared so we can clearly see r squared is equal to 67.8 percent and in order to find r so if we wanted to find r we would just take the square root of r squared the square root of 0.678 and then we can find our r so we can uh we can do all we can do that because we're going to be given r squared it's unlikely that your computer output is going to give you r uh, most computer outputs just go and give you R squared uh, because you know that's the coefficient of determination and that's the one that tells us uh, more about how the variability is uh, how much of variability in our uh, response, variable response variable can be explained by our explanatory variable okay so I calculated this out see how I was see how I was stalling <laughs> I was stalling as I was putting this in the calculator so I get 0.82 all right, so um, S here is the standard deviation of the residuals, and we're not going to quite use this. Um, degrees of freedom, that seems like it has to do with something with, um, you know, AP government, but it doesn't. Well, we'll get used to, we'll get, we'll get to this later. So um, right now we, we don't need this, so we don't need this, we don't need this. Um, we don't need this, although it does tell us something. And we don't need this, although if you really want to know, this is the standard. Um, this is basically the standard deviation for the um, for our dependent variable, for our uh, explanatory variable. Okay, so we don't we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need these guys until later. Okay, so we'll just ignore that for now. All we need is to focus our attention right here okay all right so first thing you're gonna see this word constant okay constant this is gonna correspond to our y intercept okay our b sub zero and our b sub zero is gonna be right here where it says coefficient so this is b sub zero so the b sub zero matches up to where it says constant then you're going to look at your the next one down is going to say this says waste this is going to be some sort of context in this case this is our explanatory variable our waste explaining our percent body fat so this right here is going to be a context word something other than constant so something that deals with our context in our problem here um, so our waste, this part right here, this number next to waste, this is our slope. Okay, so the slope goes with that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and write our equation of uh, our regression line. So we're going to have percent body fat hat equals B sub zero negative 42.734 plus 
1.70 our slope times waste and this is our regression line okay so we get it from our computer output right now you have to look here this is where we're gonna get all our information aside from r squared all right so there you go that's just reading computer output for uh, linear regression models and AP statistics I should say bye bye